we are on the very first run of this year's half marathon training. Now this run is pretty quick and boring, only two miles, so not a lot to report, but it's only up from here. Well, that was two miles done. Really, it was like 20 something minutes. Not a lot of opportunity for good footage. Honestly, it felt kind of like a tease. Like, I could have gone longer, but I'll stick to the plan, which we'll talk about the plan later. So we were back in the car, two miles, crushed, pretty fast. Um, so I actually am not headed home yet. I am meeting some friends to go climbing in like 20 minutes and our gym is right down the block. So I'm a little early. So I thought I'd sit and chat a little bit about this year's training plan, set of videos the next couple months until the half marathon. So let's start with a recap of last year's half marathon. Um, originally, well, you guys have seen the videos on my channel. It's very amusing for me to document my running process, even though I'm certainly not elite in any way, very much a beginner, but honestly, I think we need some more content from amateurs who don't know what they're doing. Um, we need more uninformed original content on youtube.com. So last year, I originally started training for the full marathon. Uh, due to some injury, didn't shake out so well. So we ended up running the half and we had a really good time running for the half. However, it did pour, which was unfortunate. And I ran one minute slower than my first half marathon I ever ran. Which to be fair, it was pouring rain and the first half marathon I ran was not super hilly. However, I'm still taking it a little bit as an L. So this year, I my goal for the half is just to beat my previous time. I'm a very slow runner. I ran like 244. I wanna crack a 230. I'll be happy with two hours and 29 minutes to run a half marathon. And I've, I feel optimistic about this because right now I am in much better shape than I was last year. Um, and I have been consistently running like just solid light base mileage, but I, I've been on my feet. All right. So I'm starting in a much better place this year. Um, I'm let's say freestyling a little bit where I'm at the point where like I I have not been doing really long runs like the longest run I've done in the past like three months was six miles and that was yeah like probably a little before Christmas um so I've been running like very nice two to three miles a couple times three to four times a week um so very light so i'm at the point where i i don't really know what plan to choose because i want to run more days a week for less time and i'm also trying to get faster so i don't really know what the plan is going to be and i should probably <laughs> figure that out but I'm starting training this week because it's 12 weeks out and that feels like an appropriate time to start. So really we're just winging it. I'm just gonna put something random on a spreadsheet and we're gonna run it. Um, what could possibly go wrong with this plan? I don't know, nothing. I will say over the past couple months I have, now I've always been like a very slow runner, um, like 12 minute plus miles. And for some reason I haven't, like, I, I haven't understood how to get faster without feeling, like, totally gassed and, like, sprinting. And I've really been working on getting my mile time down the past couple months. And I've been doing this by just working on my running cadence. Um, I'll talk a little bit more about this later, actually, because it's really interesting. Um, I'm right now have to head over to climb but 
let's put a pin in that. I'm literally not making any sense. I don't even know what this video is going to shape out to be. I don't know if I'm going to cut any of this. I don't know. All I know is that I'm going to slam a granola bar real quick and then I'm going to change out of my running gear because I don't like running in the same type of outfit I climb in. So we're just, it's been a day. All right, I need to stop talking to myself like an idiot. everyone it is like 7 10 a.m on tuesday i woke up like 20 minutes ago and i'm taking my little morning walk um this is something i've been wanting to do for like ever since i started getting light up light when i was waking up because hearing birds first thing i don't know it's in serotonin so today is Tuesday, which means it is an in-person office day for me. So in about an hour, I'm going to be hopping on the bus to work. Um, yesterday, I did not feel much. Really, it was not too interesting. Work from home day. Um, went to the gym afterwards. Did this. I was not feeling lifting, so I did like just like a half-ass random dumbbell workout. So really not much to report, but today might be fun, a little day in the life. Um, we're also running today after work. So that'll be a little treat. This, this lighting is interesting. just got in the door the bus took a little longer than usual so it's like 35 minutes later and I'm immediately turn changing into my clothes and going running or else it's not happening but it will happen I listened to the Spotify like 180 beats per minute playlist to match my cadence to Already, I think my Spotify rap is gonna be a little whack. It's gonna show love as a battlefield like 500 times. Just finished my run. It is very dark out here, so we'll re reconvene inside. Good morning, happy Wednesday. My hair is a little bit of a mess, but it is like 8.15 in the morning and it's already so warm and it's going to reach high 60s today. So I'm doing something I don't normally do and taking a very long walk to a different coffee shop and working from there for the morning. So while I already look a little crazy talking to my camera on the side of the road as cars rush past, I thought this would be a good time to talk a little bit about my training plan or lack thereof. So last year, I pretty religiously, I wouldn't say religiously, but I followed Hal Higdon's Novice One for the full marathon and then switched to the half marathon. This year we're doing things a little differently, mostly because 
at the time running was like my main focus and I found that I'm sorry if you can't hear me because of the cars running was my main focus and I found that having such a structure plan was really good but now that I'm focusing on a lot of different things like climbing and I'm lifting more now and there's a lot more going on in my schedule I'm and also my priorities are a little different I'm finding that it's easier just to kind of um, go loosey-goosey a little bit um, and by that, my priorities are less, I mean, obviously I'd love to run faster than 230, but mostly I want to just focus on building up my mileage per week. So make it like a longer term thing than just like, oh, crush this one race. Um, and also obviously balancing some other things. So um, what I'm doing is recently I read the Born to Run training guide which some of the stuff is really interesting, some of the stuff I don't agree with, which I can make a whole video on that, but like saying foam rolling and stretching is useless, I don't agree with. And also that you have to do like a total elimination diet. I think that's like messed up and stupid, but they do have some important training, like guidelines, tips. So. I'm pulling from that of running like four to five times a week, long run one day a week on Saturday, and then doing like strides on Tuesday. And it's kind of seeing where my mileage ends up, what feels right. So doing something a little more like holistic. So yeah, like this week, for example, on Sunday I ran easy two miles. Yesterday I ran two miles and then did some stride. Tomorrow I'm probably gonna run easy two and then do a 5K on Saturday, just as like the baseline week and then we'll go up from there. Cause that's been about the mileage I've been doing the past couple weeks. It is after work, almost six o'clock. I am out in front of my climbing gym right now. It's a little later. Usually I climb on Wednesdays. It's a little later than I normally go. Usually I like to go right after work. And today I ended work like right at five. I didn't have to stay on any later. So, but I was meeting some friends. So I literally was just like being a clown on my phone for like 40 minutes. This is, and it was feeling exhausted. This is why, right, I know myself, and right after work, every single day, I have to immediately work out if I'm working out that day. Other times, not as good. If I do anything else post-work, like, my energy levels are just so slow, low the rest of the night. But we're pushing through for friends, and I just crushed, like, four bowls of cereal throughout the course of the day, so... That is, I'm definitely feeling like I want some salad, <laughs> but yeah, we're probably going to climb for about an hour and a half. Leaving now, it is like 8 p.m. Stayed a little longer than I was anticipating, mostly because me and my friends ended up chatting. But honestly, I was planning to make an Aldi run or like some kind of grocery run, but Aldi is closed. So you might be just be going a little grocery list. Also, the thing about being an early riser is like it's 8 p.m. Like, I'm going home and I'm getting ready for bed. 